Hey guys, Buffalo here. Last week when I did the video on cut shells, specifically 12 gauge cut shells, I ended that video with a question and asked what would you guys like to see me shoot with these and I'd get out and give it a try. Well, several of you mentioned the ballistic beer and we're gonna get that done today. You know, we got, this is the target I shot last week. We got pretty good accuracy. That was just 25 yards shooting offhand with no rest or anything, you know. I was pretty impressed with the accuracy. And we did shoot some uh, four layers of sheetrock. If you guys didn't watch that video and you don't know what cut shells are, I'll link that video in the description. Go back and watch it, and then come back and watch this one. Today, we're gonna shoot it in the ballistic beer. Let's get started by actually seeing how fast one of these projectiles are traveling across the chronograph here. <laughs> All right, I've got my cut shell ready. Got my eyes and ears on. Let's get this party started. Looks like 1,073 feet per second. That's pretty impressive when you consider what a payload's coming out of there. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. This is the hole that it left in the railroad tie right there when I just shot over the chronograph. And if I can get it to focus, this is what bounced off the, uh, or bounced back off of that hole there. The, uh, the white part is the wad cup, which holds the uh, one and one eighth ounce of shot that's in these shells. And of course the red part is that outer part of the shell. But uh, it all goes out as one projectile. Let's shoot it into the beer. All right, so here we are at the ballistic beer table. We'll be shooting these Winchester Universals and making our cut shell from those. You can see I've got one cut and sanding beside one that not, has not been cut so that you can see the difference when I cut these, I cut them all the way around. And then I let them, the cut overlap about an eighth of an inch on the back side or whichever side, just as long as the cut goes all the way around and slightly overlaps. That allows this entire projectile here to break free and go down the bore. The Winchester Universals make a good choice for a cut round because of the type of crimp they use. It doesn't open up easily. As you can see in the last video, you know, we never lost a single pellet before we were supposed to lose it. So, uh, good choice for cut shells. And I'll be firing those from the Breda Extrema 2, which is my 12 gauge shotgun. It is a three and a half inch chamber, 26 inch barrel. It's got a cylinder bore choke in it, which means that I'm not running any choke. Uh, if this gun does have a overboard barrel and a lengthened forcing cone so it's ideal for cut shells other than being a semi-automatic we talked about why you wouldn't want to run these semi-automatic in the last video but uh as far as the barrel and chamber goes this gun is ideal for cut shells so uh, enough with the boring stuff let's shoot this beer all right guys the moment is here let's see what this bad boy can do 10 feet away from the beer, just like always. This could get messy. Yeah, messy it is. I have now got a Costco beer covered Beretta Extrema 2. And there's the stub. It didn't eject the stub, which we learned that last week. But uh, 
Let's see what she done. All right, guys. Take a look here at the carnage. Just as I thought, this thing uh, released a tremendous amount of energy here early on. It blew cans. You know, I've got cans uh, laying around here everywhere. The uh, I was hoping that the plastic, the wad cup, and the shot shell would stay in the beer. But when it hit, evidently, when that uh, when it opened up. You can see here's a beer can. There's a piece. There's a piece. Chewed up pieces of beer can all over the place here. There's a piece. And then way over here is our plastic piece, the outer shell and the wad cup. Tell you what, we'll grab that and walk back over here. Sorry for the harsh shadows today. I'm glad to see it, to see the sun out, but uh, it does cause some harsh shadowing in the videos. So how far did we get? Looks like there's the D D beer, and there's the number the four beer definitely got blowed up. But the fifth row of beers were all safe. They haven't been hit. Uh, you can see, or I can see, hopefully the video camera can see it. There's a bird shot in all these cans. When it hit it, just dumped the bird shot. But four beers deep was our penetration. If anybody guessed four beers, you were right on the money. Uh, fifth beer and back were all safe. Although you can see some of them were knocked down just from the sheer force of the hit up here. Kind of knocks some of my rows over. But anyway, guys, there you have it. Uh, normally, at this point, we will walk back up to the reloading shack and go over the bullet ballistics and weigh it and size it and all that stuff. But really no point in doing all that in this video. You can see for yourself what's going on here. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk with you guys again soon.